good evening. You're watching the news in brief live on Active TV. We're live on all social media platforms, Active TV, and on YouTube, Active TV GH. My name is Mami Amnapuke. <laughs> To our first story, Senior Minister Safuma for test positive for COVID-19. The Information Minister reviewed this in a press briefing earlier this morning. In a separate development that has come to us this morning, Senior Minister Safu Mafu has been informed that his sample given for test has returned positive. He will therefore, as of today, commence treatment for COVID-19 from home. And in consonance with uh, the transparency that we are bringing this, uh, he has instructed that uh, we inform the general public of this accordingly. Our best wishes remain with him and all who are battling virus, and we continue to encourage strict compliance to the preventive etiquette, particularly social dancing and the wearing of masks. These are proven ways to cut the rate of spread, and we admonish all to observe them. Government is committed to doing its part by providing more and more public education, logistics, stepping up enforcement, but we as citizens also have a responsibility to protect us too. The ones that government cannot do for us, we must do for ourselves. Also, Yao Boabe Asamwa, MP for Adenta, speaking on behalf of the NPP, cautions Professor Jane Algeman to get ready for the fire ahead. We extend our congratulations to the Professor Nana Upukwajiman, and on her selection, we ask that she indeed gets ready for the fire ahead. Having congratulated her, we believe it is important to remind all of us what Professor Nano Pokwajimai brings to the Yomama ticket. In an ideal world, one of the strongest things going for the selection of the good professor would have been that she is a woman. And this would be met with a lot of enthusiasm. <laughs> press conference, he states that John Dramani Mohammed's choice of running mate reveals that he has no regard for Ghanaians. We can only conclude that the choice of Professor Jena no Pukwajimai by Mr. John Dramani Mahama is a clear indication that he does not take the Ghanaian electorate seriously. But then, as our own Vice President, Dr. Mahamudu Baumia has famously said, it does not matter who the running mate is. If the man, main man, that is, if the man, the main man himself, is indecisive and incompetent, you will still have a problem. Also in the international front, Israel's held director resigns from her position because her opinion for the coronavirus pandemic is being ignored. Sadiki, who's been a highly public presence during the coronavirus pandemic, said her professional opinion was recently being ignored. In May, the Health Ministry's Director General resigned in Israel. Professor Seijo Sadiki, the Director of Public Health Services in Israel, at the Health Ministry announced that she is resigning her position and leaving the ministry, citing irreconcilable differences over policy in the handling of the coronavirus pandemic. For several weeks, the compass guiding the handling of the pandemic has lost direction. Sadiki wrote in a Facebook post, despite regular warnings in various settings and forums, we are witnessing with frustration that time is running out, she wrote. 
against this backdrop, I have reached the conclusion that given the new conditions that have been created in which my professional opinion is not accepted, I can no longer effectively assist in halting the spread of the virus. The public health director wrote that she has submitted her letter of resignation to the ministry's director general, Professor Hazy Levy, who took the job in mid-June, succeeding Mojba Simantov. Health Minister Julie Edelstein, who is also new to the job, having started in May, said he had been unaware that Sadiki was stepping down. <laughs> Popular Ghanaian rapper Konfo Kwade reveals his comeback to music soon as he releases his new EP soon. Ghanaian rapper Jerry Anaba, well known as Konfo Kwade, has revealed his preparedness to release a new EP. He said, I'm grateful to Ghanaians and my family. I can assure all that I am working on myself and I know I'll be back on the music scene very soon working on my new EP and as you can see while sticking to my medication. He also talked about how supportive his family, friends and the entertainment industry have been to him during the difficult times in his life. I'm at peace with my family, he said, and for a long time in about 20 years, I have been able to live under the same roof with my parents in a hearty and comfy conversation. Although I'm not there yet, I know I'll soon fully recover with the support I'm receiving from my family and the music industry. They didn't wait for me to pass on before showing me this love. I read and watch what's happening in the media, he further stated, and the commentaries about me and the sometimes is just for feeling. The last time I was reading some of the comments under my Abrantia video on YouTube and it got me teary. The well wishes, prayers and a rallying call for my comeback, he said in the report. Before suffering from the mental challenges which have put him in rehab centers for some years and relapse setting in, Okonfo Kwade was one of the popular musicians who was admired by many music lovers for his powerful and traditional lyrics. watching don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel active tv change my name is mommy Abnafuke. have a good evening and enjoy the rest of our programs